This is uh, Strong's H, 69.96. Katan. And the second entry is Katon. Katan and the second entry is Katon. It says a uh, young, small, insignificant, insignificant, unimportant, unimportant, right? And you can see how that general was talking last week that the sales of American military hardware, he said 30%, but I say 20%, he was lying. You see? Because you got to remember going into the history and the scriptures in the book of Genesis. What's so-called white man's Esau Edom blessing in this force? So Esau Edom sells uh, of his military hardware, which Nate, uh, uh, Russian the Edomite, but America been over there in the Middle East so long, that's what everybody used to. And now these nations are showing that they got options not to deal with America because America, uh, is the head and the biggest influence in the world. And America's the head, why? Because them gutter rats, them gutter rats use America as a weapon of war in a spear to take down other nations. Okay? That's why I'm saying America is the head, man. Because them gutter rats, so-called Jews, use America to take down other nations. You see? That's why I'm saying that. Okay? So, the nations are looking at America rising up from battle, and they looking at America now as insignificant. Oh, they ain't nothing. Right. You see? America ain't nothing. And they get bold and bold. You see? Uh, I don't 
know the strong definition it says less, little, small, age or importance. Yeah, insignificant. Yeah. Not important. Yeah, okay. You got it. So that's what small mean. Okay. And right. we want to look up the word despise. And then despise uh, Strong's H959. Bazaar. And it says uh, to despise, hold, and contempt, disdain, uh, to be veiled, worthless. Worthless. Okay? So Esau Edom is looked at as insignificant and worthless. Okay? Not important and worthless. And it might be uh, painted in there. Uh, might be. I don't know. I can't remember. Maybe if I look it up in the spies. In the uh, etymology online? The etymology. Okay. Give me, give me the definition for the spies again in the blue letter. Uh, it says despise, to despise, hold, and contempt. Disdain to despise, regard, and no contempt to be veiled, worthless. Worthless. Okay, so we got the word despise. Go to different translations. See what we got. Concerning that particular verse. Worthless. version see I will make you small among among the nations you will be utterly despised uh, new Worth, living worthless new living translation says Yahweh Yahweh says to Edom I will cut you down to size among the nations you will be greatly despised Cut you down. <laughs> okay. uh, uh, what an amplifier. Sir. It says, Behold, this is the amplified Bible. It says, Behold, eat them. I shall humiliate you and make you small among the nations. Uh -huh. You are greatly despised. Okay. You are greatly despised. Okay. So, and then the the Brit the Brit Britain. Uh -huh. Set. Man, this one's hard to pronounce. Uh, Britain Set Talbots translation. Okay. okay. Uh, so, like, if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Because arise ye and let us rise up against her to war. Uh, this is the com contemporary English version it says, Yahweh Shem Yahushah said to Edom, I will make you the weakest and most despised nation. Yeah, it's basically all of them yeah, are right. inspired. So it ain't looking good for Edom. It ain't looking good. It ain't looking good for the Edomites. So-called white people. It ain't looking good. Okay? So, so-called white people in the eyes of the Heavenly Father and His Son, you got a big old target on your back in the eyes of the Heavenly Father and His Son 
to, according to the Bible, to make you worthless and insignificant, unimportant. You see? Amongst the nations and in this war. Because that's what is going to end up for you as a people. Everybody going to come against you. And that's how you're going to become insignificant and worthless, man. Right? Because you're going to be brought low. You're going to be brought down, man. Right? And destroyed, man. Right? That's your future. You see? And if you watch the news like we watch the news, you can see it happening to them, right? Okay? You can see how Yahweh Bashim al is is uh, after these needle mites. Okay? He's setting them up. So, that's it on that. You want to the etymology and look up the spies? Come. It says, uh, look down upon, scorn, disdain, treat with con contempt. Uh, look, look at, look down on, scorn. You probably have to go to uh, disdain. disdain. If you ain't got, if you ain't found hate up in there or anything like that. But we out here, bro. Be patient and search it out. One bar. Not picking up my action. Uh, think unworthy, worthless, look upon with contempt. Uh, you ain't get hated up out of there? No work? Mm -hmm. Alright, that's all I wanted by then. Uh, ain't found it. No, we got one box. Okay. Go back to the scriptures. All right. This is uh, Obadiah, uh, verse 2. It says, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Yeah. Small, insignificant. Go ahead. Thou art greatly despised. Worthless. Go ahead. The pride of thy heart has deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock. But that's Esau, Edom's habitation, right? Rocks, That's the origin of Esau Edom to dwell in the cliffs and the rocks, man. That's why all these buildings are high like that, and they got all these windows in them. Because if you look at Petra, the when they was in the caves, they was high up in there, and they uh, knocked out uh, holes in the uh, in the mountains in the rocks to see out of. So that's why you got these buildings built like that because it's their nature to build them like mountains and uh, put these windows so they can see out of them. Right? It's their nature, man. Right? That's why they got it like that. That's why they all high like this, like mountains, man. Right? Right, right. You see? It's their nature, man. Right? Everything made out of concrete. Go ahead. Whose habitation is high. See? Go ahead. That says in, in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? So, what? who shall bring me down to the ground? Y'all about to know a shot. Give me Daniel 4 17. You see? The Most High raised you up. It's on uh, Romans the ninth chapter to show his power, man, right? so he can destroy you. But you already brought down in the spirit, man. Right? All right, this is uh, Daniel. Chapter 4, verse 17. Mm -hmm. This matter is by the decree of the watchers mm -hmm. and the demand by the word of the holy ones mm -hmm. to the intent that the living may know that the Most High is ruling in the kingdom of men. So the Most High set you up, Esau, Go ahead. And giveth it to whomsoever he will 
and sit it and sit it up over the base of men. So he set it up the kingdom, okay, with Esau Edom ruling in his kingdom, the basis of man. He the low, he the lowest of mankind, my right? So spiritually, you the lowest of mankind, but it's Yahweh Shemel Shah that ruler in the kingdom of men that the living may know that Yahweh Shemel Shah controlled everything. He set these devils up. He built them up the way they are, man. But since it's set up like that, that don't mean that you give up hope on Yahweh Shemel Shah concerning what's written in the scriptures, man. Because what you read about, what he going to do for Jacob, what you love, okay, it's gonna come to pass, man. So you keep hope in this word in your how much you shot. Okay? He set these devils up so he can demonstrate his strength, man, and his power, man. By bringing them down, man. And sending them lifters in the earth, man. Them angels to lift these spirits out of these people, man. Alright, go back to uh, Obadiah. Alright, it says uh in Obadiah, verse 4. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, what's the uh, image of a man? The eagle, the bird. Okay? That's the image that America promotes. Same thing wrong promotes. See? The eagle. Go ahead. And though thou set thy nest among the stars. Though thou set thy nest among the stars. Your space station and your military weapon. Go ahead. Thence will I bring thee down, said Yahweh by some Yahweh That's it, man. Go ahead. 